one attack or, or a single strike. Um, so the kata is, you've already got the sword out. And so, like, it's, like, say you're in Seon or something, this is, like, a very quick opportunity. It's, like, it's when you go into Daijona. So he raises up to Daijona, like, as if you're going to cut down, right? Yeah. And then, boom. So it's here, and he goes, and you catch the right elbow. So you can't really cut. Go ahead. It's, it's tough for a moment. So... Your imposter come in quickly and catch the elbow. Then it's a, the denture says it's boshi, and so it gets up. And then kick. So it's quick. So you know, however you are, get in there quickly. Or maybe you come, like you don't go in forward. I mean, it could be that too, but it also could just be you raise into that job. And then getting in quickly. So either one, you have to get in fast and get this really pushed back. Push again. Then kick. And the idea is that kick would knock him down. And maybe on a battlefield, like it may be that he gets tripped up on something and falls. So that's the cut. So so I might be out here. You come in, and maybe for a moment you hold both, strike, strike, and if he falls down, it's also calls for a kick to the leg, ah. which is odd. Yeah. Absolutely. So, well, or like the, the most important question, or like you're saying, I think the main point here is, is to get in quickly, right? So you have to read it, the timing. So it buys you a moment to hit. So Sugetsu controls like is attacking the diaphragm. So you might <clears throat> take your breath away for a second. And that buys you your kick. Because the question is always, well, why doesn't he just cut down? Right? Well, we already know like the first bit. It's like you line yourself up so they can't have any leverage to cut, right? So you've got that for a moment. And then maybe even if he's backing up, you start following and hit. So then it's like, okay, you hit him, you kick him. You hit him. Why, like, especially on the kick, why is he just not cut down? Right here, he's just kill him. Well, if he actually gets it properly, he's been more concerned about his breath being the wrong way. Especially considering if you're on the battlefield, you've already been fighting. Probably. Especially if I don't have a sword. I mean, it's been fighting long enough that I've lost my weapon. And now I'm having to deal with this guy. And so, if that's the case, then there's a chance that we're already breathing heavily. Because we're an armor that's heavy, we've been fighting other people. And he's like that too, right? He's, and you know, it's like, okay, here it comes. And while he's like still had labored breath, and then boom, you do that, yeah. you take all of it away, what little he had, they can cause some shock and panic. And it's like hard to remember that when you're in the dojo. And it's like, oh, is everything fine? And forgetting the context of, okay, he's trying to cut me down. And you get in, and he's already labored breathing, and he's made worse. Then maybe that becomes his whole world. It's, I can't breathe. If you ever had that happen, that becomes your whole world. And you do it again. So maybe he's not even thinking about cutting. Right? And you're aware that the sword above is so gravity. So you're watching, you're monitoring, monitor, monitoring the sword to see what it does after the kick. But again, I think the main point of this really is get in quickly and strike immediately. <clears throat> After that, it's, it's kind of whatever needs to happen. Because I can see like the angle, right? Of him wanting to cut. And then you may have that. And then talk to <laughs> So, let's say, get in. <clears throat> strike. 
right away, and he continues to cut and get control of the pommel. His needing to grip is what keeps the elbow leverage. Let's try that. Keep monitoring the elbow for the whole time. Dave is a sideways throw. Uh, this way. Yeah. It's still the same. Cut. Point is you control the elbow, you can keep the cutting. Mm -hmm. 